Hey, Beetle Dustino here. I'm back with another video again. Of course, I said in the last video where I went through the CD sets of the Super Deluxe stereo remixes of the anniversary packages so far. Kind of getting an excitement for the Super Deluxe version of the Revolver set. Revolver originally released on the 5th of August of 1966. The new set is set to be released on the 28th of October of 2022. Much like in the past here with Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, The Beatles, The White Album, Abbey Road and Let It Be, a whole slew of new product featuring the new remix by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. And of course, with each of them, we've got a slew of different CD packages and a slew of different LP packages. So this video, I'm going to focus on the LP packages and show the past ones, kind of talk a little history on what, what we've got. I do got to say to all my returning viewers, thanks for coming back. Thanks for tuning in again. And to anybody new coming and checking this out for the first time, please subscribe and... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully we're at the hundreds now, but let's get those hundreds to thousands. I'll be my first one saying that. All right. <laughs> so anyway, sit back and enjoy the video. So yeah, of course, we got the Revolver set coming out on the 28th of October and getting very excited for it. I do got my pre-orders in. I... As I've said, I'm going to get the Super Deluxe, the CD package, and I'm going to get the Super Deluxe LP package. Plus, I'm going to get the deluxe version of the CD set with the two CDs. And there will be the one LP version, of course, with the new stereo remix. And then there will be a picture disc, which they've done on most of these in the past. There will also be the 4 LP and the 45 EP Super Deluxe set. I'm very much looking forward to getting those and seeing those. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what we've got in the past from the other four albums that have got this, this feature here. So, of course, the first album that got this uh, treatment with the, the remix and the, the anniversary packaging and the Super Deluxe packaging was Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in 2017 and released exactly to the date of the anniversary of the 26th of May of 2017 and the original album, of course, the 26th of May of 1967. And that would be Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. In terms of the LP, they didn't do a lot with this first one. I suppose just how popular the LP is and just even that few, you know, five years or so since, you know, I suppose they were still probably, you know, with these deluxe packages and that and the cost of it all, how big do we go? But with Sgt. Pepper's, they didn't go very big on this. And unfortunately, I missed the big LP package on this one. I didn't, at the time, I still wasn't, I was think just dipping my toes in the water and kind of getting one here and there. I don't think it was until Egypt Station came out in 2018 that I really started getting LPs. So I kind of snoozed on it, but luckily Target still had the one disc version sitting on the shelf and I picked it up. Anyways, that's what I've got. There was a two LP version that was Half Speed Masters. I don't think the one LP was a Half Speed Master. Don't totally quote me on that. Everything I've looked at, I don't see anything saying it. I don't see anything in the package saying it. Usually they do put a little note in there saying that it's half speed master and really there isn't a lot to show on this one because it is it, it basically looks like the standard lp that's been out since 1967 here is my copy of the anniversary set like i said it doesn't really look that much different than than the original one and of course we'll show you the gatefold here with that great picture of them there and I'll show you the spine, and I'll show you the spine upside down, because that is how they did it. They did it backwards. I don't know if that was on purpose or mistake or what, but anyways, with the packaging here, I'll show you the inner sleeve first, I guess. I do got the record in a, a better sleeve, um, but of course they did that, that really cool artwork um, that came with the original Sgt. Peppers. Then we'll get the record out here. Of course, on the Parlophone label, and then there for side two, a little bonuses with this, and there is one little difference, I'll show you that last, of course we gotta, gotta have our cutouts so we can cut out our mustache and our badges and join the band. <laughs> still, still not cut out on mine of course. And this one did come with a little pamphlet book something. Just kind of differentiated a little. So, of course, there's the front, there's the inside. Trying better to hold these still, I've noticed in the past. I'm kind of really moving this past the camera, <laughs> not giving you guys a chance to look at it. 
But yeah, there's the Sergeant Pepper set. They did do that one LP and then the two LP with the Half Speed Master, like I mentioned, and the picture disc on that one. I'm not much into the picture disc. I don't see those as anything more than a collectible. I don't know. They don't appeal to me. I love colored vinyl. I just haven't got into the picture disc. I've got one picture disc in my whole collection. It is Beatles, but anyways. Yeah, so there was the Sgt. Pepper set. And of course, in 2018, we got the White Album done, the, the Beatles. They did a little different on the sets. Even the standard kind of two-disc version, which the album is, of course, a two-disc album, that did get the Half Speed Master treatment. There was a 4LP set that featured the album, the remixed album, and the Easter demos. And that is what I did end up purchasing. I'm very glad I ended up purchasing it. So first, like I said, 2018 was about the point when I did start to buy stuff and hey, smart me, I got more than just the two disc set. But yes, I do got that, that set and they did a very nice job with this. And then just kind of going on with the picture disc, mentioning that there was no picture disc with the white album, but how could you really do a picture disc with the white album? Would have been cool they would have done a colored vinyl, but I suppose it wouldn't really match the picture disc. But let's take a look at the 4LP, the Beatles, and the Easter demos. And it comes in this very nice box. Very heavy-duty cardboard like all these have been. This, it's not like... <laughs> Like my CD set where I said the image is actually on the box. It's not a slip clear slip case that you mistake for the shrink wrap and cut the, the poor slip case. There's the back. Hopefully everything's coming good. No reflections. There's the spine. And the other spine does, does match. Nothing on the top or the bottom. And hopefully I can show this all right without everything falling apart. <laughs> and not looking too goofy, but the lid just pops off. And there we got what's inside. And right on top, we got a little pamphlet, a booklet. I'll put that down. Some pictures of the guys there. And of course, opens up. We got the inside there. And the back, primarily talking about the Easter demos. Yeah, of course, those were so bootlegged in that, so it was very nice getting that official treatment on these. Of course, in the anthologies, we did get a couple of them. Of course, we'll pull out first records here, which would be the, the remixed album. And they recreated the original sleeve, embossed on there. Of course, the gatefold. And on the back, they even recreated, oh, there it is, moved on me, the little stereo marking there. Of course, they did not do this in mono. I don't know if they were keeping this version in, in check with the, I think this was a worldwide release though, but it doesn't have the top loading like the original UK album would have had. Of course, I know in the package we do got the poster, but I see in my sleeves here I do got the photos very similar to the ones that were in the the CD Super Deluxe set, about the same size and everything. Of course, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. And we'll show you the albums here, the LP. Of course, like I said, this is the remixed stereo version. Of course, these do come in the, the black sleeves like the original did, unlike the original. It does got the nice plastic lining there to keep everything nice and safe inside. And take a look at side one on the apple and then side two on the sliced apple and disc two in the same treatment and we'll do side three on the apple side four on the sliced digging deeper into the box we've got the easter demos And pretty much mirroring the, the standard album, even on the back there with the stereo marked up in the corner. And the Embos, the Beatles. And even the inside is fairly similar. It looks like they got some alternative photos there. And again, the discs are in the, the black sleeve with the plastic lining. And very nicely done on the acetate apple, like the demos would have been. So there was side one and side two, and let's pull out side three and side four. Not looking much different here. So there's side three, and of course side four. 
Same labels on those. And like I said, a little deeper in the box, we do got the poster hiding. So nicely included this too. Try it on, fold it. Looks about the size of the one that came with the, the CD Super Deluxe set. Just folded more in the 12 by 12 folding. But yeah, the poster on the front and the lyrics on the back. So of course there was the, the Beatles, AKA the, the White Album, done up with the, the Beatles and the Easter demos in the four LP set, which would have been the biggest set you would have got for the LPs. So of course up next to get the, the remix treatment and anniversary package is Abbey Road. Of course originally released on the 26th of September of 1969. And of course released in the, the new remix anniversary package almost 50 years to the day on the 27th of September of 2019. And of course that would be Abbey Road. Abbey Road did get a 1LP version too, and um, the 3LP, they did refer to this as a super deluxe set, and also the picture disc was back with Abbey Road. Um, but very similar to the, the Beatles, the White Album, housed in box, very similar. There's the back, and of course the spine, and the other side, and it's just white on the top and the bottom. And we'll try to see if we can repeat as well as I did with the White Album one here. Of course, you open it up, got the, the black lining on the inside. And, of course, the book greets us right at the top there, a little pamphlet. So we'll take a look at that first. It's the cover of it. And the inside, getting that photo I really like of them. Got my poster and my clock of it. And the back there. And of course, moving on to the first disc here, you got the remixed album on LP, matching just like it would be, not a gatefold or anything, just a single, single sleeve here, single jacket. And we'll open it up. Again, it's got the black. I, I'm not sure if this is how the original would have been done. It does got the plastic again like the, the white album had. And I'm showing you the, the slice side there. We'll pull it out there and show you the, the, the green apple there. Then we'll spin it around and show you the sliced. For disc two and disc three, we did get one of those alternative covers like we got with the, the CD set. Of course, we did get one more with the CD set than this. And they just housed it in a single sleeve here, a single jacket. Um, no gatefold on it, so just kind of a double thick jacket there. There's the spine. So let's pull out the disc. Of course, the sessions. Got side one. Side two on the slice. Then we got side three and side four on the slice. And of course, Abbey Road never came with any posters or anything like that. So nothing more in there, just the black lining. So yeah, there was the Abbey Road set. And then again, of course, we did have to wait forever. I think they still referenced it as the anniversary set, but it did not release on the anniversary, unfortunately, um, just due to everything that happened the year that would have been the anniversary of Let It Be. Of course, originally released on the 8th of May of 1970. And of course, the remixed anniversary package of this did not get released until the 15th of October of 2021. This one... Like I said, there was a very clear evolution in the, the higher up package. Of course, for Sgt. Peppers, we just got the Half Speed Master 2 disc set was deluxe version of that, if you want to even call it that. Then, of course, we evolved into the Beatles, the White Album, and that got the Beatles and the Easter demos as the big super deluxe set for the LPs. And then Abbey Road did get a three disc version with the sessions and that. Let It Be mirrored the, the super deluxe CD set with everything. Even, even the packaging is almost the same. For super deluxe CD set, they did go with a matte finish. And oh, there's that big, big box with the gloss finish on it. It still has got the little peekaboo windows so you can change up your, your uh, cover. And still course like I complain about it's backwards this come out the wrong way they should come out this side so you can have that on sitting on your shelf facing out the right way and not this this doesn't look right not not for a box set like this 
But anyways, you got all the disc here and the, the EP, which was done on a 12 inch EP. Pull it out here. Yeah, I'm making this more difficult than it should be. But you get the idea. Of course, the book was on top there, but we're going to look at the disc first. So, of course, the first disc is the remixed album. Done up to match the original. And since the white album, it seems like they've kept with the, the black sleeve with the, the clear plastic there protecting it. Let's show you the A side there. The apple and the sliced apple on the B side. And of course, these were all half speed mastered. Of course, disc two and disc three, we get the apple sessions, rehearsals, and apple jams. And they did a completely alternative cover here. And they packaged all of it into one, unlike the, the CD set. And I'm sorry, I was just moving that all again. There's the spine. And there's the gatefold. So this just got the gatefold instead of each individual sleeve like the CD set got. Take a look at disc two here. Of course, returning to the acetate label, the demos and such. And then disc three. The same label there again. They are Apple Sessions, Rehearsals, and Apple Jams on disc two and three. And then disc four, I think, was the highlight of the set for everybody. I do got to have a little complaint here. <laughs> I wish that they would have done like the Beatles and the Easter demos and just did a Let It Be and Get Back set. I probably wouldn't have bought the full LP set if they would have had an offering like that. I do appreciate that I got this, but I probably would have just stayed a little more budget friendly with that because a lot of the rehearsals and stuff, I probably, I've spun them once. I probably, maybe eventually I might sit down and listen to them again one day, but I'd probably like rather listen to that just on like a CD. Of course, like I said, the big highlight of this package was the Get Back officially released for the first time. It's supposed to be the 1969 Glenn Johns mix. Supposedly it's not the correct mix. And this one they did on white sleeve instead of the black. And it does still have the plastic. And they just kept it on the standard Apple logo. And green Apple there. And the sliced on side two. Don't get me wrong, I think it's great that they released this big package like this. But I wish they would have just had a little more budget-friendly one, kind of an in-betweener. It's kind of one step up from the 1LP version. For those of us, that we're probably going to get the CD set too. And the same with Revolver right now. It seems like it's, you know, it would have been nice to have just a more, maybe a condensed version, like the original Sgt. Pepper's release on this. We'll move on to the next disc, the last disc. Of course, the EP, the Let It Be EP, just featuring four songs. And they did it just on this Apple sleeve. I might not even pull this one out because you can see it all from there. It's got the little peekaboo window. Yeah, we'll pull it out. Why not? Back on the black sleeve. And there's the side one and side two. Of course, the book, then you did get the bigger book and all gloss. I've heard people say this is actually harder to read with the gloss and the pages are even fairly glossy. I'll just kind of go through it just a little. Much like all the other ones I've shown on the CD set. Actually, these look fairly matte finish. So, I don't know. Yeah, there was the book. And of course, you can flip it that way or that way and have your, your window show on a different cover if you so choose. But yeah, there were those sets. And, you know, we'll talk a little about the future here with this now that I've, I've covered the CDs and the LPs. And this is just great to get Revolver next. It's one of my favorite albums. If you watch my Beatles ranking, you know it was my number two. I'm hoping for this next one that I get my number one, which is Rubber Soul. I'm done in this treatment. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, kind of wondering if they'll just hop around maybe now because um, they're not really going in an order. And my other big curiosity, and, and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this, is what are they going to do about Yellow Submarine and Magical Mystery Tour? Of course, Magical Mystery Tour is a U.S. album, so maybe it might not get the same treatment. I don't know, but it's very popular album and it was adopted into the main core collection so it seems kind of a shame to ignore that. Yellow
Soul Submarine, I could see maybe not getting this with really, technically, it's only four songs that were new. Of course, all the rest were on another album, the other two songs, and then the others were the George Martin orchestrated music. But maybe they could do a little remix on that all, and maybe on those two songs from the other albums from Revolver and um, Would Be Magical Mystery Tour, maybe do a remix on those too, and a different remix than what, what if, say, Magical Mystery Tour would get. Yeah, so the Yellow Submarine is, is quite in question on what will happen with that, and will they revisit Magical Mystery Tour? I got no doubt that we're definitely going to see Rubber Soul at one point. I know it's a lot of people's favorite. And, you know, will they just continue to go backwards? So Rubber Soul, Help, Beatles for Sale, into Hard Day's Night, and then into With the Beatles, and then Please Please Me. And as technology is getting better here, uh, of course, Peter Jackson, with that new technology that he figured out while he was doing the Get Back film, figuring out how to isolate the sound and dividing everything and pinpointing each individual noise there. So maybe he can help them out with, you know, getting the remix on these others that were, I, I think, some of the earlier ones were just two track. So maybe isolating out on, on Please Please Me and those other albums that were a little more basic. Of course, at this point, everything's at least four track and no bigger than that. And they've been doing the four tracks since Sgt. Pepper. So I, I think they've got ways to figure it out. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to what's to come. And I'll be in line pre-ordering and getting them as soon as they're announced on, on all these sets. I'm really looking forward to it, filling out the collection. Anyways, I'll be signing out. Of course, want to thank everybody that, that stuck through and watched both of these videos and that continue to watch all my videos. I'm really having fun with this channel and having fun making these videos, kind of coming up with a new story and researching and you getting to study the Beatles even more right there alone and getting to show off my collection. So, so these past few videos, I have been showing off my collection and and having fun doing it. So please, if you're liking what, what's going on here, please subscribe. And let's, like I said, make those hundreds of viewers into thousands. Um, but anyways, I'm Beetle Dustino, signing out.